Hey guys, I'm reviewing one of Sephora favorites gift set today for you guys and this is a lipstick set and this is called Give me more give me some bold lip now as you can see it says here it retains for $28 and Canadian I think $33 and the value is $78 US $78 US dollars and uh, for Canadian it's $93 uh, so you get six shades here as you can see and out of which this one and this one are both full size so I think I really appreciate that out of the whole out of uh, the six shades you have two full size which I think is really really nice and you pay $28 for this and of course since this is a set curated by Sephora this is uh, exclusive to Sephora and of course this is for the holiday season so it is limited edition as well but uh, Sephora favorites are usually found in store and also online so yeah, they uh, you wouldn't have a problem locating these products. They usually put them like right in front in the display, in stores and everything. So these are not that hard to find. But um, given the, the value for money and the shade ranges that they offer actually in this set, I think this might like sell out quite soon. So um, it it always comes in a box that's, just shape in a, uh, that's in the shape of a lips and similarly this year it's this teal kind of a thing and then inside i don't have the products in i have it out but um you have they, they are not like uh it doesn't have like a holder or anything they just loosely placed here with all these paper strings like packaging material so yeah uh you have uh three transfer proof lipsticks uh, this is by Kat Von D. This is in the shade K Dub, and then you have the Tati's lip paint. It doesn't have the shade name here, but I'm sure if you take a look at the product page on Sephora's website, you'd be able to see what shade you get. And then finally, so these two are the liquid lipstick variety, and both are transfer proof as well. And this is the cream kind of a lipstick, just the like a pen, lip pencil. Uh, like jumbo lip pencil, sorry, not a the, not a traditional lip pencil, but it is transfer proof. To be honest, believe it or not, and this is by Nude Sticks. And then you have two um, traditional lipsticks, and this is the full size actually. The, this is from a uh, Too Faced, a brand new lip makeup line uh, by Too Faced, which is called the Peaches and Cream Collection or line or whatever because they have like a ton of products they have like foundations eyeshadow palettes so many in that line so this is like really brand new product guys and this comes in a full size in this in this uh, set i think i really appreciate it um and then you have finally a teeny weeny uh liquid lipstick this is liquid lipstick as well i'm sorry i forgot to incorporate i'm not incorporate i for forgot to mention that in uh, when I was talking about it but it is not transfer proof it is just a lip cream and this is by Bare Minerals this is in the shade VIP so yeah yeah I feel you have like a good variety to us uh, to like suit uh, different kinds of taste so yeah let's let's first finish this tiny one this is VIP and uh, let's just get this swatch I have something already on my arm I just I'm just removing it So yeah, this is VIP. As you can see, it's not a very, very vibrant. It is a red, but it's not very, very vibrant. I have reviewed this product actually on my channel when they first came out. I think these are called statement, statement or lip statement or something like that. They have this nudes, right? Bare Minerals usually focuses on nudes. So they came out with a small uh, collection called statement, which had colors so again <laughs> this doesn't exactly uh, give a statement look because it is definitely on the muted side so yeah that is VIP it's definitely very very I think especially um, being a red shade uh, it does give like a pop of color but at the same time, I don't think even if it like even if your lipstick kind of moves away, you I don't think it it would look that obvious. So yeah, that is tape VIP from Bare Minerals. So 
So let's swatch the, the shade K Dub in from Kat Von D. This released uh, for spring summer this year, but first of all, when I wanted to buy this, this was sold out, and then I heard someone say that uh, in YouTube, uh, some of the in some channel that this was tricky, so I kind of ignored it. I just didn't bother to pick it up. But guys, this is not streaky. This is really pigmented. I don't know. I guess you can't trust reviews, but I'm just saying. This is not sheer, not streaky. I didn't bother to like really apply it properly, but you know, I just don't think it's streaky at all. Do you see any streaks? Nope. It's really nice and um, this is definitely a vibrant shade but uh, this is not neon at all so I don't think I would need a lip liner with it and even if you have a darker complexion like a deep dark rich uh, skin tone even then I don't think you would actually need a lip liner if if lip liner makes you comfortable you could definitely use a lip liner but I don't think it really needs a lip liner uh, it is a vibrant shade. It's not very deep and rich. It's definitely on the lighter side. But do you see when it if it when it dries down, it's not at as neon looking when it was like in the liquid state. It definitely dries down darker. So definitely very very dark skin friendly. So far both shades are dark skin friendly. So where is that uh, make wipe? And of course, as I said, not streaky, very pigmented. So next is that unique um, formula by Nude Sticks, which is, as you can see, this is not a twist up pencil, jumbo pencil. Um, you will have to sharpen it. So I'm not sure how travel friendly uh, it is. It, it is definitely small, so it is portable. But what if you want to sharpen it and you and you ran out of the lipstick that is uh, you know, already out? I don't think it is. I don't know that for sure, but from what I saw, it did not move. So yeah, this is a beautiful brown red shade, guys. And I think if you have like really a uh, deep, dark, richer skin tone, this would make, this would, I feel this would appear like a pink brown, pinky brown shade and very much like a nude shade if you have even more darker complexion, I feel. So yeah. And that is Vino and it's so so beautiful I, I'm not sure whether I should wait a little bit longer to to show you if this is transfer proof or not but you know mm, the consistency is actually when I applied it it went on so creamy but when I press my lips together it's not creamy actually the product is not even moving so maybe I should do a kiss test yeah there's like tiny bit of transfer here but it's just almost nothing so it just once you apply it it just sets I feel it doesn't even take longer it's it doesn't even take as long as a liquid lipstick I think Kat Von D is the one which dries down really fast it takes less less time than uh, Kat Von D this is a really nice product guys but I think if it was a twist up jump, jumbo pencil, I would have liked it better. But uh, you you probably need to carry a sharpener wherever you go if you if you take this product along with you outside. I love the color, by the way, it's so beautiful. And it's actually quite difficult to take it off. Even I feel more difficult than a traditional liquid lipstick that dries down to a transfer proof state. This is another lipstick which again dries down to a transfer proof state. This is, I don't, as I said, I don't know what the shade is, shade name is. This is by Tarte. This is a stunning, beautiful chocolate brown shade. It's just so yummy to even apply it, guys. It's like so pigmented and so beautiful. It just glides on the lips beautifully. So yeah, that is, I don't know what the shade is, but this is the Tarte's Tartiest Lip Paint. This is definitely also on the drying side, very similar, I feel, I 
genuinely feel the formula of this and this of uh, uh, Catherine D are so so similar uh, so yeah they are also on the drier side but they last really well both both the shades both the Tartus and the Catherine D all of them to be honest last well except for the bare minerals shade all of them really last well so let's take it off and we have bite beauties licorice I think you can just buy, uh, trust buy beauty with your life when it comes to, to be honest, everything. The, the shades in their permanent line, the ones that they release for limited edition collection, and the ones that they put in the holiday sets, all of them are exactly the same. This is licorice. This again is very burgundy. I think this is the deepest shade in the in this set. Don't want to like twist it up all the way up so yeah that is licorice as you can see it's definitely on the vampy side I think this is the only vampy color so yeah that is licorice I know the swatch these these two look similar but definitely as as you saw um, the lip swatch they are definitely this is much lighter than the licorice shade and again uh, not streaky it just went on very very pigmented and this is such a comfortable formula to be honest out of everything in the set this is the most comfortable formula and truly very nourishing formula as well guys meaning it's not like as long as it's on your lips it, it feels good but when you take it off it get your, your lips get I mean you feel that your lips are dry right away it's never like that with Bite Beauty's products. It's always like even after you remove the lip product, you still your your lips like feel so soft and um, uh, moisturized. So yeah, mm, this is finally the shade that I was talking about from uh, Too Faced Peaches and Cream uh, collection. This is in the shade Drunk Dial. So uh, it has this peach picture stamped all. Uh, like completely in the lipstick as you can see and it doesn't have like a pointed edge as usual the the edge is actually cut horizontally so it has like um, I don't know what shape it is exactly one two three one two three four so that makes a I don't know it's not a square definitely it has four sides to it I should brush up on my geometry. <laughs> it's extremely pigmented, guys. It's just so pigmented and it glides so beautifully. And the scent is a very sweet scent, very fruity. It's not very fruity, to be honest. It's not in your face fruity, but it has this very mild fruit scent. I think the scent is peaches and sweet fig sweet fig yeah so yeah so um this shade is definitely like a very muted version of the k-dub by uh Catherine D. so there are similar shades in the fam in in this um uh set i feel these two definitely on the pinky purpler side and the um you know nude stick shade and licorice shade from bite beauty they are very quite similar and this is definitely on the dark darker side the brown uh, family and you do have like one red so i really like the set you get two full-size lipsticks out of the six and all of them actually have really good quality and and also a good uh shade range so oh, i think it's a really good um set I recommend it guys uh, if you're really interested in trying these shades out I'd say pick it up or if you want to try these shades individually I give you guys a go because these shades in the minis and these two in the full size are actually really really nice so if you're interested in picking up maybe this shade in the full size just pick it up I think this retails for $17 $17-$18 or if you're really interested in the Vino shade I'd say pick it up as well if that's what you want to pick it up just pick up one shade yeah whatever that you want <laughs> hope you guys found this video useful please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe bye